It was an exciting evening in the energetic city. Residents have elected two new city councillors, Becky Grimsrud and Tony Zabinski. Grimsrud managed to receive the highest number of votes, over 1,700. New perspective, a bit more um, open dialogue with the citizens, uh, hopefully a lot more new ideas and uh, just different things that I can uh, try to come up with to help the average person in Fort St. John. I'm honored that I've been given this opportunity. I'm really excited, a little bit nervous, and I know I've got a steep learning curve ahead of me, but I hope I can live up to everybody's expectations. Re-elected council members include Gord Klassen, Lilia Hansen, Byron Stewart, and Trevor Bolin. Previous councillors Bruce Christensen and Larry Evans were not re-elected this term. Mayor Lori Ackerman has been re-elected by acclamation. She has been mayor of the city since 2011. Yeah, I was ready for a debate. I was just, I was looking forward to, um, you know, being challenged in that debate and defending all of the, the uh, projects and everything that the city has done over the years. But that, alas, that was not to be. So what that does is it allowed me to focus on the community. It's kind of a, a bittersweet. But uh, what it does is give us that continuity moving forward, and I'm really excited looking forward to uh, the new council being sworn in November 5th. Even though they have a couple new faces, council says they are continuing to focus on the people that call Fort St. John home. So for the next four years, we're really going to take uh, the opportunity to put into place all of the plans that we have managed to pull together over the last two years and make sure that all of our growth is done in the most responsible and sustainable way for the residents who are here now. Over 2,800 residents voted in the municipal election, 20% of the estimated number of eligible voters. With the LNG plant approved in Kitimat, Mayor Ackerman says council will have some big decisions to make over these next four years. She adds she's looking forward to continuing her work for the residents of Fort St. John. Taylor McIntyre, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.